Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a scroll bar that you can actually scroll within without having to use that little bar at the bottom. It's a really annoying little thing to try and hit. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to make something like this. Alright, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is delete the one I have. So I can show you guys how I made this. So we're going to right click in the content browser. I'm going to go to user interface, widget. And we'll call this scrolling. We'll double click on that. Open this up. And what we're going to do is scroll down here until you get to this thing that says scroll box. We're going to drag and drop that in, and I'm going to go over here and resize it. So make this about 250 by 100. And I'll just anchor it over here on the right side. Now what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to put a button in this scroll box. And I want the scroll box to actually be horizontal. You can have it vertical or horizontal. For this demonstration, I'm going to do a vertical one. And I'm going to click on the button here. And I'm going to make its image size 100 by 100. And I'm going to give it a tint. And I'm going to do this for all of them. 100 by 100 for hovered and for pressed. And now what I'm going to do is if you click on this button and you look at this part that says interaction, if you click right here and get the drop down, this is what you need to change to be able to scroll on the button itself and not having to use the scroll bar. So go down to precise click and precise tap if you're using a touch interface. Now that we have that set up, I'm going to right click on the button, copy, and I'm just going to paste a whole bunch of them in here. So now we have a few buttons. I can just change the tint on some of them so we can tell that we're scrolling. There we go. Now we'll compile and save this. And I'm just going to have this be created in my level blueprint. You guys can obviously put it wherever you want. So now we hit play. You'll see we have this little scroll bar. And if you hold the right mouse button down, you can actually scroll left and right like this. If you're using a touch interface, um, and using mouse for touch, the left mouse button will work too. And you see you don't actually have to click on this tiny little bar down here anymore. But I will show you if you don't have that checked. So if we go back here to interaction and we make down and up, down and up, which is the default. And then we hit play you can't scroll anymore. You actually have to click on this tiny little bar to scroll, which is really annoying. So there you guys have it. That's how you can get a scroll bar without having to use that nasty little thing. I hope you guys like that. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and look out for more tutorials. All right. See you later.